Hi there, welcome to another video in my series on the geometric distribution. Now, if x is a random variable and it's distributed geometrically with parameter p, then it can be shown that the expected value of x, the mean in other words, e of x, is equal to 1 divided by p. Now in this video I'm not going to show you how we prove this result. You can see that in a later video. All I want to do is give you a couple of examples which use this concept. And these are the couple of examples that I've got. The first one is fairly straightforward. The second one is a little bit more demanding. But you might want to just use this result and just give this a go. If so, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back I'll run through the work solutions very slowly in the form of a tutorial. Otherwise, just fast forward and you can check out your work solutions. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, with the first one, how many times would you expect to throw a fair six-sided die before six is scored? Well, in an earlier tutorial, I showed you that this kind of model can be modelled on a geometric distribution. So, if I was to define a random variable, let's say x, let x be the random variable, number of throws to get a 6, where x is distributed geometrically, and the parameter of getting a 6, the probability of success, is 1 6th. So, in other words, e of x, the expected number of throws to get a 6, will be 1 divided by 1 sixth. And that answer is 6. So, we can expect then 6 rows before we get a 6. Now, in this second example, I said that this was a bit more demanding, and it's if x is distributed geometrically with parameter p and the probability of x equaling 2 is 5 ninths, find e of x. Well, for this one, if we've got the probability x equals 2, if I was to work out that probability that x equals 2, then I'd want to do the probability that x equals 1 plus the probability that x equals 2. And from this, we should know the probability of x equaling 1, that we get a success on the first go, would be p. And the probability of x equals 2 would be a failure, which we call q, times the probability of then getting our success, which will be p. Now, q is the same as 1 minus p. So we've got p plus 1 minus p, times the p here. And we can expand the bracket. We've got for the first term p, but then p times the 1 is p, and then p times the minus p is going to be minus p squared. And simplifying this, we've therefore got 2p minus p squared. And this is then the probability x equals 2 in terms of p. So we know that this equals 5 ninths. So therefore, we can say that 2p minus p squared must equal 5 ninths. So therefore, if I multiply both sides now by 9, I'm therefore going to have 9 times the 2p, which is going to be 18p. 9 times the minus p squared is going to be 9p squared. And then 9 times the 5 ninths is just going to give me 5. So if I rearrange this as a quadratic equation that equals 0, then if I add 9p squared to both sides, I'm going to get 9p squared. Take away the 18p from both sides. And then I've got plus 5 equals 0. And this factorises, we can have a couple of brackets here, equaling 0. For 9p squared, that's going to be 3p times another 3p. And then for the plus 5 here, I can see that if we multiply minus 1 with minus 5, we'll get the plus 5. 
then you're going to get minus 15p minus a further 3p which is the minus 18p and so therefore each of these factors could be equal to 0 that is 3p minus 1 could equal 0 or the other factor 3p minus 5 could equal 0 and what does this lead to well it leads to p equaling a third if we add one to both sides and divide by three or you end up with p equaling and for this one if you add five to both sides three p equals five divide by three and you get p equals five thirds but remember p is a probability and so therefore it's got to be greater than zero and less than one here so let's just say that since p must be a value that's greater than zero but less than one then it follows that p must be equal to one third and so therefore when it comes to the expected value the mean if you like e of x it's going to be equal to one divided by p p being a third one divided by a third is three Okay, so I hope it's giving you an idea anyway on how to go about examples then that ask you to find the mean or expected value of x for a geometric distribution.